What is going on, everybody? It is Craig, and it has been way, way too long. Movie edition number 20 to my 2019 screenings. And this is a special one. Not because it's top in the charts or anything like that. Um, although, it isn't too bad. It is a special one because it's actually the first freaking one I saw this year from 2019. So, first and foremost... A big shout out to Mr. Phil Mitchell from Phil's PP Vids, because he mentioned this movie to me, which you've already seen, obviously, in the little blurb when you clicked on this video. I am a <clears throat> a sucker for Slasher movies. So you put Slasher something, I'm intrigued. And that's hurt me in the past, too, because that, you know, sometimes I've walked in some really bad things. Uh, but this one is interesting. Uh Slasher party. Sort of a prey off of an after party. Except, you guessed it, not everyone survives. It is low budget for sure. Um, I'll be honest with you, it came out 2019. I saw it on YouTube. So I don't know if I just got really lucky. Someone put up something they shouldn't have and it wasn't fragged. Um, but that's why I caught it. I don't know if it's still there. Um, I know Phil saw it using his, his um, probably his fire stick or something. So it's out there. Um, I haven't seen advertisements for it, so who knows? Maybe it's just a robot to release. Yet, it is something that I will give enough of a favorable rating where I'm not going to spoil it. And oh boy, is this a movie that the greatness of this movie exists on it not being spoiled for you. And great is hyperbole, for sure. Something happens in this movie, especially towards the end, that makes it go from a, eh, I don't know if this is going to be a plus or minus for me, to go, holy shit, that is pretty cool. Before we get to the ending that saves it and elevates it a few points for me, the movie itself was okay. You know, you had rope actors you don't necessarily recognize. I didn't recognize any of the actors from anywhere. You know, you had the YouTube famous people or the blog famous people on this, you know, in, in the thing and the up and coming actress, the up and coming rapper. So it was important and it played into a storyline that famous people die. And that's pretty much what happened when the Sarash was set up. Um, there was some good comedy in there. There was there's one like black gay guy who like people would make jokes at, and he's like, you know, yeah, I may be gay, but I'll still kick your ass. And like, oh, I didn't mean it, but I was kind of cute, funny. I don't know, maybe some sure some people in today's world will find offensive. I think it worked well for what it was. You know, no, you didn't really care about a single character. So, whoever are the survivors at the end, pretty much mean absolutely nothing to you. If anything, you'll be in love with the unmasking of the killer. Because that is an individual that you love from many, many places. But I know I did. I'm sure you will, too. So if you're looking for a movie, purely put it on the background. Not anything that you ever want to watch again, necessarily. But something that you'll definitely recommend to people because of the cool ending. It is a cool ending. And it even plays off of, um, they even call something, well, it's like the 27 Club. You know, and that this I could spoil because if you know the news, you know what this is about. Look at the number of famous people who die at 27. So, like, the idea of the Sarasha party might be just that. There's too many famous people, you know, so let's get rid of some of them. So, you know, in that 27 thing, look it up. There's a lot of very famous 27-year-olds uh, who have passed away. Big names like Cobain, Hendrix, Winehouse, and to rest of act actors. I think the kid who hit himself with his own car was 27. Um, I could be, I think I could be wrong about that. But since I'm not spoiling it, you know the rules. It means it's above a five. Probably not high above a five, um, but it is better. I would say I'm going to give this movie a solid five and a half. And I'll tell you, if it wasn't for the ending, it probably it would have been under. It would probably have been a four. So that ending gave it at least a point and a half. And the ending, it's it's. I mean, we're talking about Superboy Camp type, like as far as what the hell did that come from? Don't worry, there's no no penises are popping out. Um, well, I shouldn't say worry, well, like you know, but you know what I mean. It's not it's not the gratuitous thing. But it definitely it's some fun shock value and some interest. So I'm pretty sure that when I do my top 10 of 2019, this one will not be on it. Um, but I guess as of right now, technically, it's the top of my list of 2019 since I haven't seen one yet. And I don't have much confidence in, um, in some of the other ones that I've seen just yet. But Pet Cemetery 2, as promised. Have a good one, folks. Remember, when I hit 400, we got a nice, fun contest coming. Anyway, peace.